Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated with space exploration. So when I heard that the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum was displaying a Mars rover concept vehicle, I decided I had to go check it out. The Kennedy Space Center in Florida built a Mars rover concept vehicle, which is traveling around the U.S. as an exhibit to inspire and educate the next generation of space explorers. When I arrived at the Air and Space Museum, I scored a sweet parking spot, which I was pretty happy about. Washington, D.C. can get pretty busy during the summer, and today was no exception. Here it is, the Mars Rover Concept Vehicle. It's 28 feet long, 11 feet high, and weighs a massive 5,500 pounds. This is Carl. He works for the Kennedy Space Center and was kind enough to clip my microphone to his shirt and answer a lot of my questions. I was hugely disappointed when I got home and found out the recording didn't capture any of the audio. Bummer. If we could hear Carl, right here he'd be telling us about how the vehicle is solar powered and designed as two parts. The rear end can be detached and function as a standalone laboratory, while the front half serves as a scout vehicle. He explained how this would be very useful as it allows the astronauts to drive to a location of interest and set up the lab to perform experiments. The lab could be left at that location and the front half driven back to base. I couldn't help but picture Mark Watney from The Martian driving this thing around all alone on the surface of Mars while simultaneously making wisecracks about his circumstances. The last rover that landed on Mars was the Curiosity rover in 2012. The Curiosity only weighed 2,000 pounds, yet NASA and JPL had to come up with some really creative ways of getting it safely down to the surface. If you're curious about this topic, Google Curiosity Sky Crane. Since this rover weighs more than twice as much as the Curiosity, I asked Carl what kind of rocket would be needed to get such a heavy payload to Mars. He admitted he didn't know the answer, but said that NASA is developing a huge rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS. This rocket is a heavy lift launch vehicle designed to take astronauts and equipment into deep space. Carl mentioned a really cool Easter egg the engineers put on the rover. Apparently there is a Star Wars Rebellion symbol hidden somewhere on the rover. One question that I had that I didn't get a chance to ask Carl was if the astronauts using this rover will need spacesuits or will the vehicle be pressurized, allowing them to roam freely inside? If anyone has the answer to this question, I'd love to hear it. Actually, there was another question I didn't get to ask Carl, and that was if I could drive it. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, I make videos with the goal of demystifying the world of engineering, making, hacking, and electronics. I encourage you to take a look at some of the other videos I've created, and consider subscribing so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you next time. I wonder if I can get a shot inside of this thing.